guys, you know how I usually apologize when I'm a hot mess express? <laughs> Today, I feel all sorts of, <laughs> I feel all sorts of backwards. So if I mess up on my words, call things, say wrong words, call things wrong. Um, this is not, this is a normal, this is a launch day, but it's my kids' school's homecoming, plus grandparents' day, plus the pap rally this morning, plus I got like two hours of sleep last night. Um, but other than that, it's a beautiful day. So good morning. Jessica from Oregon's on. Who's on? Beth is on. Hi, hi, hi. Wait, is it Liza? Liza Hall is from Blaine. I'm from Blaine. If it's Blaine, Minnesota, because you're saying you woke up to snow, I would guess that's a very strong possibility it's Blaine, Minnesota. So that's crazy. Wait, I'm seeing more snowflakes, you guys. Seriously, who woke up to snow? Is it snowing in, is it, is it really snowing in Minnesota? Oh my gosh. Okay, Vegas, Myrtle Beach. We know it's not snowing there. <laughs> Chilly and rainy Wisconsin. Sean Marie, I know she's in Wisconsin too. Do you guys legit have snow? I, mi I missed that memo, you guys. I'm going on two hours of sleep. Again, woke up. We had grandparents morning at we had school, pep rally, homecoming football game tonight. Go Eagles, right? So, um, Jessica, yeah, she said, can someone explain the wording? You guys, our um, embossed sweatshirt is North Rock Mining Company. And uh, honestly, when working with Victoria on this, we just came up with this. It, it, uh, North Rock Mining Company doesn't exist. It doesn't exist in, we thought it sounded like something that would exist in 1849. Okay, so there's no meaning behind it. There's no agenda behind it. There's no, we just thought it was a really cool, subtle type graphic and really just added to this whole kind of embossed stamp type scene. Um, and I don't know, Victoria, do we, do, I like, we honestly, we just made, we make, we make things up. So there's no, like, there's no meaning. There's no, like, it's not even an actual place, but it sounds cool and looks cool on the, on the embossed graphic. So anyway, anyway, we are getting started. Good morning. Welcome to those of you who are new. Um, my name is Melissa. I'm the owner, co-founder of graceandlace.com, a women's apparel company that helps you look and feel your best. And today we have a slew of new designs launching today. Plus, you guys, our launch day deal is buy any two of our long sleeve. Okay, here's just like a little bit of an assortment of them, right? Who doesn't need um, basic long sleeve tees? And for those of you who are saying you woke up to snow, um, okay. So buy any two, get the third free is our launch day deal today. So girls are behind me. They're going to come out. We're going to show you all these designs, but I'm just going to, you know, there's the, uh, there's 800 bazillion ways to style a long sleeve basic tee. <laughs> so not really that you need help for ideas for this, but mm -hmm. here they are. Pocket poncho, vest, jacket. I mean, mm -hmm. if there's a staple in your closet, it's, it's this for sure. So <laughs> thanks girls for coming out. They're going to do a quick change as we go in and we talk about the items you're releasing. But all of these colors, any of them valid for this offer, mix and match, stock up your, your mom, your mom-in-law, your friends. I mean, this is our buttery, soft, super stretchy, perfect, perfect pocket tee material in its long sleeve version. So it is not as oversized as our perfect pocket tee. You guys know that one's oversized. This one is a little bit more true to size because it's set in sleeve a little bit more and obviously it's not um, super oversized in the, in the sleeve. So most people I think do go with their um, normal size in these. If you're between sizes, you can size down. But again, stretchy, slinky, nice feeling and it's by any two and get a third, any third that you want um, for free, okay? So some of the colors, black, can't go wrong with staples, black, charcoal gray, a mini kind of black and white stripe, of course, an oatmeal, ivory, um, what do I have back here? This was olive, um, and in addition, the new popover we're launching today, these, this is a great top to put under that, to have a sleeve under that, okay? Okay. Um, oh, Jessica's still asking. Honestly, it's just the, the North Rock Mining Company is just an emblem. We wanted a really cool circle graphic to tie in kind of this whole, we're gonna talk about it in a minute when we launch it, but kind of tie in this scenery, okay? So it just kind of had this like stamp of 
we felt like it needed a little bit of wording. We wanted the circle graphic in this. So it's not a place, it's not a destination, it's not a business that existed that we know of back in 1849, but we felt like it had kind of the aura and the feel of what we want that stamped embossed look type um, of thing to look like. So no, we're not sponsoring them. They don't, they, they don't exist. We made it up, but it is a really cute, really cool business name actually. Okay, let's get started. First, we are talking about the cable knit popover. So this, you guys, is a first of its kind for us. We actually have not done something like this before because it's different than like a, than like a poncho, a cow neck poncho. It's similar, but um, actually has a lot of differences in that this is more of a kind of, usually when we do a um, yes, who best? This is, um, this is our necklace. This, both of these are our necklaces. This is a real old one, one of our half marble. Um, this one I think is still on our site. Someone can look it for you. But we have done poncho type styles with turtlenecks, cow necks, all that kind of stuff before. This is more of, um, looks a little bit more like a fitted sweater, maybe, than like a big, long, drapey, loosey goosey no sleeve type of thing so we wanted this to fit now i can do both i have I'm both for you to try them both on i can do the extra small and the small because i'm going to show you so if you kind of think in terms of like maybe the word like capelet kind of um poncho kind of but see you're gonna see when i put this on we made this to sit close down to your sleeve to be to, to fit along with your body and not just be a giant thing there's great places, great places and great times to wear the big giant pullover Lucy ponchos, right? But we wanted this to kind of have a little bit more of a tailored look. So I'm gonna show you. So there is actual armholes right here. So there's, it is, it is very much part sweater, mostly sweater, okay? Um, so you'll want a long sleeve to go under this. I don't have one on and I don't wanna roast because although it was lovely this morning, I'm confident it's still probably gonna be 90 degrees. 90 degrees today. So I'm going to show you what it looks like with bare arms, but I would highly suggest, actually, we just came out with the mock neck, um, perfect fit, which would be great under this. Okay. So you'll, you'll see, you can absolutely not have a sleeve under it, but here's the size small. So look what we did here. We actually made the shoulder to come down with your shoulder. Okay. This is a shoulder slope. Normally in type of a, like a oversized poncho style, this is more like a square. Okay. We wanted this to fit a little bit more tailored, a little bit more like a popover, but still allow for that sleeve opening and still have some movement here at the side with a little bit of slip. So you get this kind of little bit more dressed up, little more classy. Okay. Right. Instead of, um, maybe just like oversized and big and giant. Okay. So yes, Gina, this is, she said, please say it isn't the only color. This is the only color. We did a neutral color on purpose because we wanted to feel like we could give you options to put a colored sleeve underneath this and really give versatility in your look. Okay, so look, look at this. I'm gonna bring the girls out. I'm talking a lot to give them time to change. Okay, but here we just did, um, this is our little waffle, like our waffle peplum top. I can't remember the name of that, okay? But see how just adding that, like adding a touch of color in your sleeves really brings up and really changes the element of the design. So small on me, I can do extra small as well. There isn't a whole lot of fit here, but there is this, this is a shoulder slope. So if you're broader in between sizes, you might want to size up. This is the small on me. I'll put the extra small <laughs> as well as you can see that. But um, you can see the cable knit pattern. Hold on, I'm getting hair, my lipstick. Fun cable knit pattern, little bit of open knit, not too big, just a little bit of dot. And then it just kind of sits, it sits nice. It's classy. Now, you guys know me, most of you know me. Some of you know me, some of you think you know me. I don't love tight turtlenecks. So we didn't make this one to sit tight and close. And in fact, you can work this to even sit a little bit more cowl. So if you're like me and just don't love stuff super close to your neck, um, you see that you can kind of play with this yarn. Like it'll, it'll stay to you if you want it to stay to you. Oh, they're all asking questions. Okay. It is a sweater knit. Let me bring that up. So it is a sweater. It is full on sweater. Those of you who look up to snow, 
This is what you need. Okay. So it's sweater knit and it's soft. So I would say it's definitely like mid weight, warmish weight, like not super, super heavy. Um, but definitely warm, like it's a sweater knit. Okay. So I would best I wouldn't say lightweight, but I wouldn't say like super heavy, very thick. Just it looks just kind of like a nice sweater, right? Oh gosh. Um she said it's quiet for me today. Well, maybe does your volume work to turn out? I feel like I'm yelling. <laughs> um, I'll put a medium. Um, Maddie, could you see if you could grab me a medium in this? I'm going to do the extra small now. I'm going to bring out the girls. Kylie, are you in this? Mm -hmm. Okay, why doesn't Kylie come out while I put on the extra small? Kylie, you are Hello. in the small. Small, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. This yes. is, she's normally a small, mm -hmm. normally a small in tops. This is the size that she prefers. And mm -hmm. it looks adorable. And you guys mm -hmm. can see, just the long sleeve peeping out. And then she's got our waist high flares on, mm -hmm. okay? And um, kind of got that neutral look going, went with the white sleeves underneath. She could easily put a colored sleeve underneath this mm -hmm. or a striped sleeve or whatever and change her look a little bit. That's what the versatility of the gray does. Now, I know you're saying, please <laughs> make it in all the colors. Give us that feedback on her Facebook VIP page. And if you guys love it that much, we can look into making it more again. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so small and hurt. Now I just went to the extra small in this, uh, Kathleen. Okay. I, um, both fit me just fine. I have a little bit, I'm broad. I am not an extra small in my shoulders. I, I have to use stretch in my shoulders for an extra small. So I get a little bit less movement in my shoulders, but the knit has stretch. So it's not really, uh, Kathleen, you're narrower than me. Kathleen, sorry, I know Kathleen. <laughs> I don't know if I can say that. Um, Kathleen, you'll prefer the extra small. Okay, for the extra small. Um, Jessica says, is it warm as the bamboo cozy, and is the bamboo cozy cowl neck? Um, oh gosh, Jessica, I can't, I don't think I could compare bamboo to this type of yarn. Bamboo just, ha it's like in a world, a world of its own. <laughs> um, so I, you know, and then you don't have a sleeve here, so you're not getting like full coverage in your sleeve. So layering, you know, you're gonna have a lighter layer underneath. So no, I don't think I would say, I, I really don't think I can compare it to the bamboo. But I would say our, our cable knit sweaters that we've done in the past, any cable knit type of sweater, this is a, a, a good, like a sweater knit. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Any, any questions? I feel like they're coming in. Next, and then I'm, and who's coming up? Natalie's going to come up in this too. So we can see what she has on too. Okay. So, and then she's got it on with leggings. So you don't have to do jeans, but you can easily dress this up. You can do classic dark jeans. You could do dyed, dyed, I told you I was going to mess up on my words. Designer <laughs> denim. Um, you can do a tall boot. You could do a booty, but you can, you don't have to, you can get that poncho-y type style and look and still put it on with a pair of leggings and you're in your normal size large, large right? And she could probably do a medium. Um, you can see sizing down if between sizes does give you more of that, um, closer to body type of fit and look and not into the oversized. So if I were to go up in a medium and I think, look at that, she did throw me one so you can see. Um, what jeans? Uh, Catherine, I am wearing our, what are these? Not your mom. These are like, what did I put on today? Not your mom. These are the not, are not your mom jeans. Um, I'll put on the medium for you. Amanda's going to come out in the extra large so we can see her and see how it's shot. Okay. And here's what I said. You can put a pop collar underneath this. And in fact, I think she's got one of the long sleeve yes, it's a crew neck. neck. Okay. The scoop neck, crew neck, whatever that is. Okay. Underneath that, but you can kind of change up your look based on what color or neutral, white, gray, black, whatever underneath. Um, and that's extra large on her normal size, extra large. Okay. So whoever asked for a medium on me, um, this is extra small and um, I, you know, I don't know. There's, like I said, there isn't a whole lot of fit to this. Obviously there's not a sleeve, there's no shoulder, but the shoulder is created with a slope and sewing. So there is, that is kind of the only spot where you do get, um, where you do get fit in this. But the material, the yarn is stretchy, nice and soft and just hangs really pretty. Very nice and beautiful to dress up. Okay, so that's um, whoever wanted to see medium. Let me see if I can double check and throw this one on for you guys. Um, so uh, everyone will be, anyone pretty much will be able to wear a variety of size of sizes in this. Um, just to kind of depending on your desired fit. We created it in your normal size, not to be the poncho-y type 
more of the poncho-y type look. We created it to really be more of that kind of closer to body. Hold on, type of look. Um, so here's medium. Hold on one second while I get, get this kind of situated here. Okay. So going up, if between, or going up a full size. So I'm between extra small and small. And here is going up to, here we go, going up to a medium. Now I got that more of a true style poncho-ish type of fit. Can you tell? Like I got, I got longer. I'm draping down further on the sides. Looks more like a poncho than more like to the capelet popover type of side, which the extra small looks like on me. So depending on how you prefer that look, some of you might prefer more of the poncho style look. Um, that's what a medium does. That's what going up a full size would do. Hey, does this help? <laughs> um, Beth, yes, we're gonna talk about the new leather joggers in a second. So along with this is our new style, another new style in our perfect fit long sleeve tops, the new mock neck. So great pairing with this. This is actually what was shot with this in case you're the type of person that doesn't like you know, or wants a layer, wants a full layer underneath a knit or something, here is a great pairing that gives you that type of mock neck here. And it's our perfect fit material. So same fit, one size fits all, amazing material, super stretchy, okay? And in this kind of creamy or ivory-ish, and then, and also in black. So just like we came out with the new crew, crew neck, design in our perfect fit. This is a new neckline, which makes for great, you guys, if you're dressing up in like a pea coat or a Bristol Cardi coat, um, this is a great one with that mock neck that gives you the coverage in the cold. So whether you pair it with this um, popover or not, this is a standard staple. In fact, I talked to you last time about how I created the crew neck for me when skiing. I actually might sum it out for this one because you get that extra coverage. So those of you who don't love sweaters or like to layer under your sweaters or are going somewhere where you know it might be chilly outside and you need that layer under your sweater and you have a turtleneck or a top like this or a cowl neck and just want additional coverage from the cold, this is the best option for you. And of course, in the two standard colors, okay? So black and white in that. And was I supposed to do that one next or did I just kind of do that one next? Okay. Oh, and we have, oh, we have girls in this one too. So now, um, Kylie, are you ready? Oh, they're, they're still changing. I need to still talk. I need, I, I need to still talk longer. Oh, Holly, great question. We actually discussed this in our design meeting. Yes. D um, Holly asked, nope, I don't know who someone asked. Holly asked, can you wear a jacket with this? In my normal size, extra small or small, I can. I actually have not tried it with this one. Um, what this, what it does when you wear a jacket. So here, let me show, let me, let me help. Let me see if I could show you. I have to buy time for the girls to change anything. And buy time for the girls to change anyway. Um, we were worried that maybe you couldn't wear with a jacket, but you, I tried it with so many jackets not too long ago and it works. I was concerned that maybe it wouldn't, but it works. So I'm just gonna throw this on for you and I'm gonna grab a jacket really quick and I'm stalling. You can come out. Okay, okay she's gonna come out anyway. <laughs> and she's gonna show you. We're, we're gonna talk about two things at the same time. So mock neck, look at how this dress is up an outfit, okay? Just having that kind of fuller coverage, fitted long sleeve underneath and up. She put on our the green, the evergreen, mm -hmm. mo, uh, not moto, racer. racer jacket, okay? And she's got that flare jean on, and then she has that bit, it just adds that little mm -hmm. touch of an element that dresses that up a little bit, okay? One size, again, stretchy, super stretchy, washes great, wears the great, you can literally can wear these for years and years and years, okay? Um, okay, so I'm gonna intermission while I grab a jacket really quick. Okay, so here I was gonna grab, I'm grabbing what I have. Okay, here's the moto. Um, this does allow me to wear it underneath. I thought it would really bunch up heavy in my shoulders, but it doesn't. It's still right here. Okay, can you kind of see? It's still right there. It does push the, the chest forward just a little bit, but I feel like you can just kind of straighten that out and it will collapse here on your sides. But I really thought, I was really concerned. So I was like, how's that gonna feel under a jacket? But honestly, it's not bad. I thought it was, I thought it was like gonna push up on my sleeve and then I was gonna look like a, full, uh, a football player with shoulder, pla 
shoulder pads on. But um, surprisingly, it actually surprised me. So it does collapse at your sides, okay? But um, look at that. And doesn't that look kind of fabulous, right? And it's not, it doesn't bother me. So now I would say if your sleeve is like super tight in a jacket, this is not super tight on me. Um, I would say maybe that would change, you know, that fitting under there well. But I would say like a normal, wearing a normal sweater underneath a jacket feels totally fine. Okay, so... Kylie, what's that? I think Kylie was wearing a small. Kylie, were you wearing a small in the green jacket? I think she was. I'm 99.9% .9 sure she was. Okay, now Natalie in this, okay? Green jackets are on, your, on their way, okay? Okay, here's another use of the mock neck. Vest, okay? We can think of a million reasons to use this, but mostly if you're sensitive or know anyone sensitive to the cold, wanting to keep cold off your neck, or not loving a turtleneck that's high and wanting kind of a barrier between a turtleneck, or just throw it on with a vest, I mean, easy peasy, you guys. Okay, one size, super stretchy, fits everyone. Okay, and then Amanda. Okay, Kathleen, wasn't it so cool with the jacket? I just think it, it adds a new element. Oh, and then here's what we were talking about. Okay, I just said, put this mock neck with a Bristol Cardi coat and you get kind of that updated, little bit, real classy look with that Cardi coat, okay? So. If they wanna see that, they can go Oh, and then you stretch it, yeah, tuck it in, you can stretch it out, tuck it down, stays where you put it, it's pretty fabulous, okay? Okay, any other questions? Can you talk about extra small versus small in the shacket? Yes, we will talk about the shacket coming up, but right now we are gonna talk about the new, okay? Leather-like joggers. Can you even think of anything better than our famous leather-like material? Okay, let's talk about who's got, raise of hands, I need to see who's got the motor jacket, who has the biker jacket, who has the leather, the leather look who's gotten has anyone gotten their um racer jacket yet okay okay this is the dreamy material that looks like it's leather from the outside but literally feels like you're wearing the softest stretchiest hoodie sweatpants <laughs> on um on the inside okay so it's fleeced and it's very densely fleeced so this dreamy material that we put in jackets is now that exact same material in a pair of pants okay now why i love this in pants is because a lot of times fleece lined anything on your bottoms <laughs> fleece lined leggings fleece lined okay it's usually it's usually coming from china and it's usually one of their designs and it's usually this freaking thick of fleece <laughs> that makes you look like you have an extra layer of fluff on your body where you don't want to look like you have an extra layer of fluff on your body why this is so revolutionary in a pant is because the fleece in this and the warmth that this provides is really flat and dense okay it's not puffy fuzzy thick <laughs> <laughs> they're all like amening me over here because they know what I'm talking about, okay? So you get all the benefit of looking like you're in a really cool leather jogger, but feeling like you're in sweatpants. And then the detailing also kind of looks like that, okay? So we did kind of a neat detailing here at the waist. We did kind of this triple banding. We have the optional true drawstring tie on this. You have all the jogger, the jogger styling, okay? We even did little things that made us make sure we didn't get puffy on these. The inside pockets are a real thin, stretchy, like spandex jersey, okay? Because we didn't want multiple layers of thickness to make anything look puffy on your body, okay? And then, let me just tell you, and you can ask the girls when they come out, they are warm, okay? So if you're going to cold football games, okay, my friend Deanna is like, please make me all the fleece line things for when it gets cold, I need to sit on the football stands, okay? If you're out and about, you're gonna be out or whatever, they truly are warm, okay? It is, like I said, it's what you put in the, what is in this jacket that you put on your body to get warm is, is, is in a pair of pants. So you truly have a warmth value in these. And then the bottom kind of has that matching three tiered shirt to kind of match that detailing on the top. Overall, they're completely fabulous. And to be honest, to be honest, these, these needed to be closer to the $70 price range, but I didn't want to do that to you because honestly, I, I wanted to make them within a grasp. So, um, you know, but honestly, for how good they are and the quality of the fabric and how expensive this dang fabric is, um, they're pretty fabulous. So sizing for these, and then I'll bring the girls out. The waist is not tight. Let's start there, okay? It looks like it might be tight by all the detailing. It's not tight. Um, you can use the functional drawstring if you want. 
we're doing our best not to create tight waists. You've given us feedback on our VIP page. You don't like tight waists. So in your normal size, you'll have a comfortable fit in the waist. In your normal size, these should look like joggers. That's what we want them to look like. We want them to kind of have a loose fit, casual styling, jogger type look. If you're between sizes, you might be able to go down. If you go down in between sizes, it's going to look more like a legging than it does look like a jogger. So keep that in mind. If you want them to look like a legging, if those of you, I'm gonna talk logger language, okay? The loggers are a legging fit of a jogger detailing. Sizing down if between sizes will give you that more logger type look. And I know you're asking questions, okay? Oh my gosh, <laughs> they're all coming in, okay? Um, so in, I would stay on your normal size. I'd um, The material is stretchy, just like it is in the jacket, so you have stretch. Um, you're going, if you're between, I'm, an, I'm between, I'm between an extra small and a small. I will show you what both look like on me. The extra small looks more like a jogger. I mean, sorry, extra small looks more like a jogger and the extra small looks more like a legging. So let's bring the girls out and I will put on a pair for you. We'll see what we'll start with here. Okay, um, who Kylie is up first? Oh gosh, I got small. shoes up. Okay, so small on her and again, Kind of depending on your curves or your preference is where you might, some of you might prefer a more jogger mm -hmm. style look and some of you might prefer a more legging style look. So this is where kind of you determine based on what you want, what you want your preference to be. So that is what the small looks like on her. I'm putting on, what am I putting on right now? I'm putting on the small right now. But either way, you, got, you guys, you can stretch the legs up, you can use the waist high if you need. The waist high shouldn't really be needed at all unless you size up fully from your normal size. So that's just kind of kind of a heads up that you really shouldn't need. You shouldn't need the waist high. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Kylie. Mm -hmm. Guys, can I can I take this? <laughs> I take this off. Okay. I put smalls on. Hold on. I'm gonna have to take this off. Sorry, someone wanted to see that it this would be cute with these, and it totally would. And I'm I don't have shoes on let me let me put some sort of shoe on and then I do need I do need to take this off and I can continue to talk to you okay Marie yes I will put on both um Marie you'll you'll I think you'll like the extra small I also know Marie as well I met Marie you guys at our um sample sale so like I said come to our sample sale and meet me and then I can see what size you are I'm just gonna fold my little launch day tank okay and so here's a small on me so you can see I have can you see I have very jogger nothing is really tight I'm between two sizes um, and can you see I'm trying to see if I can come up closer maybe you can come closer to me Sarah I don't know maybe if, maybe if you can or not but maybe you guys can tell see how I have very like I look jogger now I like to do this with my joggers, this is just a personal preference. I like to scrunch them up. There we go, okay? And they, um, especially with sneakers, and then, like I said, I just folded this up out of the way so you guys can see. So the looseness I get, you guys can kind of see, it looks like a jogger. Fits like a jogger, feels like a jogger, nice and comfy, nice and stretchy, nothing is tight in the small for me, okay? And Natalie's gonna come up. Natalie, you have the large, large. on, okay? And same with her. She's got that jogger look, jogger, jogger looseness, <laughs> jogger looseness, what do we call that? Relaxed type fit, okay? And that's the size you'd go with, right? Mm -hmm. If she wanted them, she's, she can kind of be between sizes. Mm -hmm. If I, I would only recommend only possibly sizing down only if you're between sizes, because I feel like it is a true, true to size fit. Mm -hmm. If you're between and you go down, that's where you'll get the more legging look, okay? Um, Kylie is a size small. She was in the small and she was in the size small. So if you remember, she was also in the size small. And I am in the small, um, the small too. Now, I'm going to the extra small. Amanda's gonna come out. She's gonna steal the show for a second. I'm gonna go to the extra small <laughs> and show you. Oh, cute, you guys, look at her outfit. Look at how perfectly that is styled with the graphic tee. She has a little cardi over it, over it, okay? She really put a look together that highlights the style of these joggers, which is, looks, what did I do? Perfection. <laughs> or you said I only put it on. <laughs> okay. Either way, it's adorable and cute. And she can do a sneaker with that, whatever. Okay, now, extra small. One second. Put my shoes back on. 
Me and my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> Natalie is a 10, 12. Right, Natalie? Oh, wait, I have a cheat. Down. Oh, is she going to... She's losing weight. She's... Natalie's a 10. Okay. <laughs> Natalie's a 10. They said she lost some weight. She lost some weight. She's a 10. She's beautiful. Regardless. Okay, now... Oh, someone said, does that compare? How does it compare to the Luxnick joggers? I would say similar, okay? Now, here is extra small on me. Nothing is tight, I saw Cindy ask. Nothing is too tight, but you'll see here, coming back here, you'll see that they look more like a, oh, sorry, head sticking out. They look more like a legging, or fit more, right? Can you see? Whew. They fit, um, more like a legging. So just based on your preference, and then, you know, I kind of go like this, stretch that up, um, wear them for travel, wear them for a day out, throw them on with a sweatshirt. I mean, they are fabulous. So um, I'm between sizes. Going down to the extra small gives me that legging fit, which I like. I just actually can't decide if I prefer more of that, the legging fit or more of the jogger fit, but they do, they do hug my curves um, more so than the size small. Okay. Okay. People are voting. Small, small looks better on you. Okay. Um, Amanda always looks fantastic. I guess I need these now. Yep. Placing my second order. Holly, the rise inseam, all the measurements are located on the listing on our website. Um, so if you click on that, find your size, it'll tell you all the sizing and all the measurements. <clears throat> um, they are stretchy. Okay, they, I know, they don't look like they stretch. They are stretchy. Go grab your moto jacket. Beth, I'm hoping you have one. <laughs> your moto jacket, this material is stretchy, okay? Um, but they don't, they don't overstretch, they don't get stretched out, they return to shape. Um, and then you can see the faux leathering de details on that look pretty dang cool, especially the sneakers. So travel day, kids sports games, when it starts to finally cool off here, I mean, just throw these on if you need that extra warmth. And then again, I stick your hands in these pockets. I showed you on the other pair. They don't get, um, they're not bulky at the pockets. We, that was one thing we wanted to change. So it just has that nice little stretchy jersey lining in there. Okay. All right. Any questions on this? Martina, no, they, they don't really relax. Maybe, maybe a tiny bit, um, but not much at all. So some people might prefer to go up a whole size. If you're like, I just want really super slouchy, look some people between sizes might want more of the fitted closer to your booty hugging you a little bit closer either way the fabric the fabric feels fabulous on your skin and warm okay uh lucy says but i oh they want to see you want to see my full where do i feel like i need to be in the movie what grease what was it grease movie grease okay you can you can build yourself and make yourself uh a full leather look if you wanted to, basically. Okay, there it is. Um, okay, no, they don't relax at all. Um, similar, no, uh, oh, similar in weight to the winter weight leggings. Yes, yes, Christina, similar in weight to the winter weight leggings, but totally different material, totally different material. Okay. Um, oh, they're saying they're struggling. Amber's saying she's struggling. She's around my size and struggling. Between sizes, neither is, neither is, too snug. Waist is comfortable on both, but this one definitely does, you know, definitely sits, sits more legging like to my body than jogger like to my body. Okay. Um, Jessica said, can you put outfit ideas on the VIP page? Um, great suggestion. Jessica, will you ask that over there? So the team sees that and does that. Okay. Let's, uh, I brought everyone out in this, right? I can move on. Um, if you have more questions on these or maybe want more in sizing, um, definitely ask our VIP page and they can help out. Okay, next, 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 embossed graphic sweatshirt, which we kind of talked about in the beginning. Um, you guys, it's just really, really stinking cool. And I know we've had two things launch in green the last two launches, but let me just tell you, this kind of dark winter green um, is really cool. Like, it's just deep and dark. It's not grassy. <laughs> It's not, it, it's deep and it's dark. And then like we talked about, I'm going to pull this up closer so we can talk about more in details. This is embossed. So this is truly, this is a machine that stamps down on the fabric, okay, and pushes this out to be dimensional. Can you see this? And then look, look at, 
okay, it's like squishy. Okay, like you can, you my kids like will want to like <laughs> try to push this in, but it is set and pressed and held in shape. It will not wash out. <laughs> will not. It will not go away. Okay, so this stays like this. Okay, and you can see it's raised and has that texture. And then, like I said, we wanted to make a graphic. We made this up. North Rock Mining Company is not a real mining company unless I start a business business in mining, but we want it kind of that throwback. This kind of has that collegiate type spin and vibe. Okay. We wanted that press typographic. It's that whole trend that's going on in the, in the collegiate type lettering. Okay. Graphics. That's a thing right now. Um, so we wanted to meet that trend, but we wanted to throw back it in the date and the style in terms of like this embossing. So we felt like Victoria did an amazing job designing a graphic that kind of worked with this subtly. We didn't want something to really throw at you. We couldn't put a lot of details on it with the pressing, but we wanted enough that it just added just a little bit, okay? So it just adds a little bit. You kind of got the Rockies coming through here, a little bit of moon and stars, okay? And then we're just gonna say this company existed in 1849. Don't ask me where the date came from. <laughs> ask Victoria why she chose that date. But again, a throwback to that vintage feel, and here I am in the small. So this is the same material Buffalo people, uh, wild and free people. Those of you who have those sweatshirts, this is the same exact fabric as that. Same exact fit, except we did let out the arm just a little bit from the previous Buffalo and wild and free. No, wild and free. <laughs> that the one with the cheetah, the big cheetah had cheetah face on it. We, we loosened up the sleeve and lengthened it just a little bit because that was complete in size. So small on me, I would say it fits mainly, may, you know, true to size. Okay. If you want that oversized, oversized sweatshirt, look, go up. If you are between sizes and want it to fit a little bit closer to body, I could wear the extra small too. Small is my preferred. I like my sweatshirts to feel a little bit more looser and just kind of sit nice like this too. Okay. Okay. She says, um, it reminds me of the throwback collegiate sports. It's, it is, it, this is back in the day when there was a mining company back in 1849, these were the types of logos and stamps and embossing that they did to brand their, their style, brand their look, okay? So it just kind of throws in, again, that throwback collegiate thing, which is a big thing and a big trend that's coming back too, okay? I love all the Janelle sweatshirts. I need this one. Yay, it's my favorite sweatshirt. Victor oh, Patty says she loves Victoria's work. Victoria does great work, you guys, and she spun this out so quickly. And honestly, we were like, North Creek. What do we call this thing? <laughs> what do we call this thing? I mean, we could have stuck Grace and Lace on here, but we just felt like this brought the whole kind of vibe and attitude all full circle. Okay. Okay. Um, how does this compare in size? Amanda, how does this compare in sizing to the fa la 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 la? Is it the same as that? Mm -mm. No. It fits better. Okay. <laughs> she says it fits better. Um, I, it's not the same fit as that one. And I don't think it's the same, same material. Okay. So this is the same. Nope. We're coming up missing on the jacket right now. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, I have to bring people out in this. Who's in this? <laughs> Kylie. <laughs> Kylie's in this and small. Okay. Uh, throw tea with it. I was just going to say, someone's got to come out in tunic tea because this is my look. <laughs> when temperatures finally get cool, this is what I'm wearing. Tunic tea, cover my button leggings, throw a sweatshirt on, pair of leggings, sneakers, and then she added the cute beanie, okay? <laughs> She's going out to pull the look in together. We're just going to really pretend it's gold. Size small on her, and you can see, just I would say it's a true to size fit. Um, it's not like a Hanes. It's not like Gildan or something like that where you really need to size up a lot to get it to fit you right, okay? Okay, Emmy says she's adding this one to her Grace and Lee sweatshirt collection. Natalie in this one, okay? Um, and then large on you, right? Okay, large pair of jeans. You guys, you don't have to think about sweatshirts. You can make a really cool look and put them on with these leather joggers like I just did and make a really cool, cool look and a little bit of a tuck or just pair of jeans and shoes cold outside and you want to be cozy. And you know, the signature material is nice and stretchy and fleecy on the inside. Okay. Okay. How does it compare? It's slightly different than the Amour, um, but similar in, similar in fit. Material is just slightly, slightly different. This is definitely the Buffalo and the Wild and Free. And then this sleeve is going to be a little bit looser and a little bit more longer and relaxed. Okay. Okay. And then Amanda in this one. Let's see what she has on. Okay. Simple. 
she distress she jean okay easy peasy just throw it on oh, don't have to lean under it. See it i know you have to come up really close. you have to come really close to, sh to show it i think it's just <laughs> the lightings it really is it's it's one of those things you guys that's subtle and but it's not a big deal that's what we wanted it to make we wanted you to f we didn't want to do a bright print we've done those you have such choices <laughs> we we have a category for that for sure but we wanted to do subtle but enough that you kind of look twice and you're like wow how does it make that puffy Remember back in the day when you had the puffy art? Did anyone do that, the little puffy? I, I Puffy paint? Was that what it was? I feel like you kind of get that concept for how puffy this is. All right, anyway. All right, we're moving on, okay? Next is, uh, finally, long line oversized jackets. I'm gonna keep my sweatshirt on so you can see what you guys look like. Okay, jacket's coming up now. This is an oversized jacket. Now, listen closely on fit. We make this extra small to extra, extra large because the fit does change a lot, uh, change a little bit um, from like your large to extra, extra large sizing versus your small to medium. That's called a grade. I feel like I teach, I feel like I teach, um, I teach a lot about actual fabricate or actual design terms when we're, um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> when I'm talking on the live. Okay, now this is extra small. So it is oversized your normal size, especially for sizes extra small to medium. I would say if you are extra small to medium and you are between sizes, um, you'll want to size down in this one. This is extra extra small meat. Now, com the, the complaint, not complaints, the feedback we've gotten before on jackets um, in the past was that longer sleeves, they don't want to tighten the shoulders. Okay, so those are all things with this extra small on me and I've got big shoulders, okay? And I'm not tight in the shoulders. Plenty of room to layer this thing over a sweatshirt. It's got buttons going all the way down. It has the pockets here in the side and then it's long line, okay? So it is like, look at look at it drop kind of back to the back of my knee in the back. Got the pockets here, nice long, long, extra long sleeves, okay? So um, you can roll this up. I'm gonna have to take my sweatshirt off in a second, <laughs> okay? Oh my gosh, you guys, you're talking about puffy paint, okay? Um, so this is um, outer, wear, outer wear quality, graded material, okay? So it is, I'm gonna bring it, actually, I don't have another one to show you, I'll just take this one off. And I'm gonna take my sweatshirt off in a second too. Okay, it is flannel and it is fuzzy. Uh, my hair in my mouth, there we go. Um, it is fuzzy and you have like the khaki kind of taupe coming through here. This is a, this is not, um, a black, like a super black, black. It's, it is a gentle black. I don't know what we call it. Not quite jet, not uh, maybe jet black, not quite jet black. And then just neutral. Okay. We've done jackets, doing jackets that have colors. This is your one that like, you feel like you can really throw it on with anything because it's so neutral. That's what's so great about this one. So just really, just really has that khaki and the black and the white coming through here. And then that, um, this is that outer wear. Okay, so it's durable. You can throw this in the wash, in the dryer. It's, it is like, it's fleecy and fuzzy and warm and it is like outer wear. Okay, it's got that weighty outer wear quality. I'm gonna take my sweatshirt off just so you guys can see, maybe see it a little bit better. But I wanted to show you that it's layerable. Um, it's layerable, uh, easily layerable. Okay, <laughs> okay. Yes, you can, um, you can machine wash this. You can machine dry it if you wanted to or lay flat to dry. Um, oh, my things aren't buffing, button here. Okay, so extra small on me. Now, I was, I kind of broke up my, my sizing on saying. I'm gonna bring the girls out in a second. The medium through extra large sizing, there if between sizes, I would maybe suggest sizing up instead of sizing down. And that's why we do have that extra, extra large option too, which you guys have been asking, asking for too. So if you're, if you're extra small to medium, I would suggest staying in your normal size for a comfortable over, this is the look guys, this is supposed to be comfortable and oversized. You can probably go down um, in your true size too, if your uh, size is extra small to medium. Um, let's bring the girls out and we'll kind of talk about sizing more too, okay? All right, large is already sold out. <laughs> um, Jen, Gina, I think it's Gina, um, it's black, but it's not jet black. It's a cool black that is not jet black. So you might, when they're saying it kind of looks navy, it's not navy, but it's not jet black. So it's a soft, I think the word is a soft black, okay? So when you work with Pantones and there's like 300,000 colors, 
<laughs> it's um, it's a soft, easy black. Okay, uh, Kylie. I'm out. Okay. Okay, and smaller, extra small on you. We were just talking about small. And that, she was like, I don't know what size to get. And I was yeah. like, who do you know? Did you side on small? Yes. I don't know. She's been going fine. Okay. I thought about medium, but it was way too big. For yeah, me. so... So when you're extra small through medium, I would err on the size of going down instead of going up. You will get that oversized fit still. So small on her, she looks oversized in that small. Mm -hmm. So it's an oversized design in those sizes, okay? So just easy to wear. You can layer it up. You can cozy it up. You can wrap up in it, okay? You really, we really wanted this to fit and feel like a coat and where you can still wear something thick underneath it, okay? Okay. Looks like a midnight color. Um, I think midnight might be a good, it's black, um, and it kind of has maybe a little bit of a sheen. Maybe that's what you're seeing too. Not necessarily sheen, but it's it's fuzzy. Um, so midnight, yeah, midnight might be good. Soft black, it's just not jet, it's not like stark black. <laughs> jet black, okay. Okay, um, will the new jacket be available? Um, no, this is just an online, this is online exclusive through our retail site, that's it. Okay. Um, oh, Natalie, they want to see in the medium if we have it. Okay. Um, Stephanie, you might be, yes, come on out. <laughs> Stephanie, you might be able to, if you should have gone with a small, um, send an urgent email to our customer service and they'll, they'll, uh, see if they can switch it up for you. Okay. Um, no, it's not lined, but it's thick. It's a thick outerwear quality jacket. <laughs> okay. Natalie and large. Okay, and you'll see as we get to large, that's why I'm saying you're large through XL, if you're between, those sizes between might wanna go up if they want the truly oversized style. Otherwise, your normal size is still gonna fit very well. Nothing's gonna be tight in the shoulder sleeve, arm arm length or whatever. Okay, Natalie in large. Okay, are there any more? How heavy is it? Um, Aria, it's, it's warm. It is warm and heavy. It is like 90 degrees here in going to me in Texas today. Definitely can't wear it. It's, it is outerwear fleecy and it's warm. Okay. It is not lined because the fabric is so, is so thick. The yarn is so thick in itself. It's not lined. Okay. Amanda in, what do we say? Extra large. I think this is extra large. Okay. Yes. XL. Okay. So, um, this is where we're kind of saying like that fits her a little bit more true to size. So if she wanted to get more of the oversized type look that I have, then she would go up. Okay. Cause she's in that upper bracket of sizing. Okay. I'm five, five. Is there a different in length and sizes? Stephanie, check the fit care tab for the links. I think there is maybe slightly, maybe not very much. Okay. Oh, they want to see Natalie in the medium. Here, There's all, okay. Here, she's here. like, I see it. Okay. Natalie in the medium. Okay. You can do either. Do you yes, feel, okay. I would wear this one. Okay. She actually prefers the medium. That's what we're saying. Remember, extra small through medium, um, that you get a little bit more difference in the grade of what the bigger grades are. Okay. So. There's Natalie and me, and they're all like, yay. <laughs> okay. Gina, you order at graceandlace.com. One of our staff, they can catch you. They can link you directly to the product. But just click on new, and um, it's on our homepage, right on the new. And apparently large is already sold out. You guys, here's the thing. If a size is sold out, you can go up or down. Like, it's really it is, it's really just meant to be a this the style. That is the style these days, y'all. Okay, just throw on this oversized jacket, put a graphic tee under it. Don't wear wear a tee and do it with a. My, hey, I built myself kind of an outfit and didn't even try. Okay, okay. Any other questions on that? Otherwise, we are wrapping it up. That is all for today. Make sure you check our launch day deal, you guys. Those basic tees are maybe it's time for you guys to replenish. Okay, check out your basic tee, long sleeve tee situation in your closet. Um, if you need to replenish, this is the time to stock up because it's buy two and get a third free. Okay. So make sure you hit that as our launch day deal today. Any other question? Oh, they want to see Amanda in the extra, 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 extra large. I don't know. You guys are scrambling. We'll see if we can. You guys, if we don't catch your, your request on here, go to our VIP page and we can, we can get it there. I don't know. They're, they're scrambling and changing and needing to really get back to work back to work okay so um this is extra small on me and i like this size and i like that it's cozy and oversized okay other than that you guys i'm signing off uh don't forget the watch day deal don't oh you guys i forgot to also mention all of these not only are they hold on <laughs> not only are these buy any two not only are these buy any two get one free get the third free but they're all 1999. Okay. I somehow totally and completely missed that because that's insane too. 
they're all marked down to $19.99. Plus, if you buy any two, you get a third free, okay? Okay, um, Melanie, I did put on the medium in the popover, so once we sign off on the live, oh my gosh, once, <laughs> once we sign off in the live, you can scroll back or scroll ahead to be wearing that one so you can see that looked like a true more poncho style on me than more of that um, fitted popover type style. Okay, that's it, we're signing off. Now, next week I, I leave out of town. Oh, this is another thing that messed with me, you guys. I'm going to a Penn, skate, Penn State football game that's not playing my Longhorns. You guys know I'm a Longhorn fan, but you guys also know I'm from Minnesota, so I'm a hardcore Gophers fan. <laughs> and apparently they're playing the Gophers, but it's like wide out. And if you're going to Penn State, I don't know. I'm, I'm conflicted. So anyway, I've got a lot of stuff. <laughs> stuff going on it's messing with my mind um so i'll be in penn state with my family they're they're um we're visiting our friends for um fall break and so if when there's a launch next week it's either going to be like wednesday or thursday it will not be on the friday due to me leaving town so it'll likely be thursday and i'll be doing the live and like going straight to the airport from the live to catch the plane so keep that in mind we've been launching every friday this season but next week's will definitely not be on the Friday. So stay tuned on our Facebook VIP page. We'll definitely release the date then, but I'm pretty confident as long as that truck comes in and please pray that they deliver <laughs> our containers that we're waiting on that were supposed to be here a couple of weeks ago. Um, we'll be back then. Okay, you guys have a great rest of your Friday. Have a great weekend. Stay warm or stay cool depending on where you are. And um, we'll see you next week. Bye-bye.